Jailbroken Nintendo Wii U? Check. Soft modded virtual Wii on Jailbroken Nintendo Wii U? Check. GameCube controller adapter for soft modded virtual Wii for Jailbroken Wii U? Got it. Let's do this. I'll show you how to install Nintendo on your Nintendo Wii U and even use a real GameCube controller to play your favorite GameCube games. And we're starting now. And if you need to learn how to jailbreak your Wii U or soft mod your virtual Wii, the links for those are in the description below. Sega may do what Nintendo don't, but Nintendo don't is the software that you need from the GitHub to play GameCube games on your Wii U. Scroll down on the page until you see the quick installation section, and you'll need to download loader.dol, meta.xml, and icon.png. Once you have them downloaded, you can close the browser and go to File Explorer and you'll find those three files in your downloads folder. See this loader.dol? You'll need to rename it. Change the name from loader to boot, B-O-O-T dot D-O-L. Now select all of the files that you downloaded and copy them. With the files copied, get the SD card out of your Wii U and put it into your PC. Then navigate to the SD card in File Explorer. In this case, it's Drive G and I've named the card subscribe. From the root of the SD card, navigate to the folder called Apps. Double click into that folder and you'll need to create a new folder in here. Right click, pick New and Folder and you want to name this new folder Nintendo. Then navigate to the Nintendo folder you just created and double click into it. From inside this folder, right click and paste all three of the files that you copied over from your downloads folder. Then navigate to the place where you have your game saved. In this case, I have Star Wars Rogue Squadron Rogue Leader. And let me point out here, you need to make sure that your actual game images are saved under the game.iso name. If they're named anything else, they won't work. All right, go back one level and grab the entire folder and copy it. You can store your games either on SD media or on a USB drive. In this case, I'm just putting them on the same SD card as Nintendo. Either way, you need to create a folder and name that folder Games, G-A-M-E-S, with the S on the end. Once you have this folder created, navigate to it and double-click into it. This is going to be where your game folders are stored. Right-click and select Paste to copy over this game or any other games that you want to copy over. Once you have the games you want stored on the card copied, you can safely eject the SD card from your computer, put it back into your Nintendo Wii U, and power on your Wii U. With your Wii U powered on, you'll need to launch the virtual Wii or the Wii menu from the Wii U main menu. You can use the touchpad or use a Wiimote and go over to Wii menu and select it. And from here, you can click TV only to launch it. Activate your Wiimote by pressing one of the buttons and press A to load the Wii main menu. From here, you'll need to go to the Homebrew channel. Point at the screen and navigate over to Homebrew channel, select it with the A button, and then navigate down to Start and select Start with A. You'll have more or less applications available to you depending upon the journey you've taken to get here, but you'll see Nintendo in the list of choices you have. Navigate to Nintendo, select it with A, and then tap Load with the A button. You can use the Wii U gamepad to play GameCube games in Nintendo, or you can plug in that adapter I showed you earlier in the video and use a genuine GameCube controller. It's linked for you in the description if you want one for your Wii U. Nintendo will ask you if your games are stored on an SD card or USB drive. In this case, I stored Star Wars on an SD card, so I'm selecting it with the A button. Any games you put in the games folder on your storage will be listed here. You know, before you launch that game, unless you like starting games over from the beginning every time you start them, you might want to learn how to use a virtual memory card. On whatever kind of controller you're using, press the B button. It pulls up a list of settings. You'll see an arrow to the left of the settings. Use the D-pad on your controller to navigate down to Memory Card Emulation. Then press to the right to change it from off to on. There are also settings available to you here for changing things like the video aspect ratio and other settings. Once you have it set up the way you want, press the B button to go back to the Nintendo main menu. Use the D-pad to navigate to the game you want to play, and then select it with the A button to start the game. And in no time at all, you'll be flying your X-Wing fighter to save the Rebel Alliance from the Death Star. But don't stop there, young Jedi. The Force is strong with you. Check out this video on screen and linked in the pinned comments and description below for more great content.